Hickok 45, and for those of you who can read, this is going to be a big game hunt with the Ruger Red Hawk. You already know it, don't you? Pretty, pretty revolver. Yeah, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Does that mean sort of pretty or double pretty? I don't know. I just said it. But we've not done a big game hunt with the old Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum. And if any handgun was uh, suitable for a big game hunt, I guess it's the 44 Mag, 44 Special, 44 whatever. So we thought we would do that. I haven't had this thing out for a, a good while. I forget I have it. I, I like it. It belonged to my brother-in-law if you've seen the first video on it. Uh, and I think he bought it in the 80s. And it's mine now, though. And it's kind of neat. Yeah, I'm a Smith person more so with revolvers, but I kind of like the Rugers too. So we're going to shoot it, and uh, don't forget. Uh, now, what am I doing? Let's put ammo in this thing. Get at it, okay? This is uh, a specific video for a specific purpose to, to uh, bring home the bacon. Let's see, the bacon, the buffalo meat, the, the, the sheep, sheep meat, mutton, or <laughs> whatever. I don't know. Uh, I talk too much, don't I? Uh, turkey meat, we've got, yeah, we've got pigs, we got everything. So let's start out with these moderate magnums and, uh, oh boy, we start on the, on the uh, gong, don't we? Almost forgot. All right. Uh, you know, it's kind of chilly uh, for, it's late March, but it's chilly. Uh, so I don't know, gotten spoiled with this warm weather. So I'll use that for an excuse if I cannot hit anything. And that and the fact I haven't shot this thing much. All right, see if we can hit the gong. All right, that means we're allowed to start. I'm going to start at the bottom uh, right. All right. It's a good feeling. All right. What a cross. <laughs> oh man okay i'm on a roll i put pressure on myself didn't i that's fun uh you know we've all shot steel well uh, <laughs> many of us put it that way and uh the steel is fun to shoot see it swing and ring uh it, it, it is fun to shoot knockover targets, I will say. Now, it requires a little more work. You have to go set them up and all that. But there still is something special about knockdown targets. It's, it's a reason that I still have them and I like them. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go back over to the right on that low pig and uh, work across again. Go back up there and get that turkey on the right there, over midway up. Oh, All right, turkey's in the middle. Okay, one more bullet, I think. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, 12 in a row. Ah, put the monkey on my back there, didn't I? Now I got the pressure on. All right. Stretch my arms. Uh, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll sort of keep track on these, maybe. Uh, it's whatever my record is for in a row. That might be it right there. I don't know. Better not talk about it. I'll start missing. All right. Also, by the way, don't forget uh, that uh, we have T-shirts and hats and mugs and all that stuff over at uh, bunkerbranding.com. It's uh, it's got the link in the description. All the stuff is in the description. I know it looks a little cluttered down there. We have a lot of links. We have updates uh, on the the meet and greets, and they're all there now. All the meet and greets uh, that we have upcoming, the dates and time. Uh, just everything. The only thing that's wrong is the date at the end. I put the 1918 instead of, or 2018 instead of 2019, but it's all up to date. All right. Ah, so uh, that old pig turned around. He's watching those turkeys, wasn't he? He's uh, keeping an eye on them. They had been following him. All right. Right, the pig. <laughs> Woo! All right, fourteen and counting. Let's go to the left on that pig over there. Fifteen. Get the one above him. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> uh, let's get the middle pig. I just had to miss. All right, what do I got left? Got a round left. All right, so I think I have 16 is my record, I guess. No, wait a minute, was it 16? I I have shot uh, 12, 13, yeah, yeah. So I had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No. Oh, it's 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, 16, then I missed on that one. Okay, a little trouble with my math there. Yeah, I'm from Kentucky, so 16 is, uh, <laughs> is my record. All right, took the pressure off. All right, let's load him up. Well, you know, I really thought I'd be having, I better not speak too soon, I thought I'd be having the opposite uh, problem. Well, I thought I'd be having a problem uh, today because I haven't shot this much. So I'm going to stick with these hand loads right now. I got the got them zeroed in, where to hold, and all that. And uh, we'll see how we do. If we have trouble knocking some of those big birds over. Oh, look at that. Good thing I caught that. The thing about hand loads, they got a primer turned around there. That happen when you're hand loading, that can happen. You see that? That's why you. Well, it's one reason why you generally don't carry. Uh, you know, you don't carry hand loads for defense or that sort of thing. Or, or you check your ammo too if you're hunting or whatever. Uh, now that doesn't happen very often with me. That's a, and that's something that's easy to spot. Of course, you get turned up that over there. I'll shoot that out of the Glock. How's that? <laughs> Glock 20. Okay, now, all right, which end should we start on? Well, let's start on the left. Let's shoot the last, well, it's not the last, but uh, we'll start on the left. Pop that old pig if we can. All right, to Buffalo. All 
right. Mr. Ram, sheep. Ooh, afraid I was going under it. All right, we've got a turkey left. Hey, Mr. Buffalo, Mr. Bison. <laughs> All right, one more round for the gong. So, how many misses did I have, John? Just a one? Well, I'm just gonna brag on myself. I, I'm, I'm just pleased, I really am. <laughs> Maybe I need to throw away my Smith & Wessons. Let's see, hey, the way I'm shooting today, Let's just put one round in. How's that for confidence? <sighs> All right, got him up there a little high, but <laughs> Okay, big game hunt, Ruger, Red Hawk. Uh, I really was expecting sort of the opposite uh, today. I don't know why, just I haven't shot this a lot. Uh, I did bring it out a couple of days ago and check the sights on it and raise the rear sight uh, to where it seemed like it needed to be. And uh, I guess that was a smart move, right? So we didn't leave anybody standing, no. So we got all of them and we had one miss. Uh, that was probably a bad case. Don't you think the brass on one of those cases just wasn't right or something? I wish, no. Uh, so anyway, it is fun to, you know, some days you shoot well, some days you don't. And uh, even days you don't shoot well, it's still fun, isn't it? You know, any day shooting is a good day. It's like you folks that fish a lot. If you don't catch much, you know, are you sorry you went fishing? Nah, nah. If you go shooting and you're a little bit off, you, you don't care. It's fun. It's fun. So, and it's even a little more fun if you're hitting well. So that's cool. It's a great feeling uh, firearm, uh, the old Ruger Red Hawk. So... All you Ruger fans out there will be trashing my Smiths, won't you? You'll be trashing your Model 29s. Uh, but the nice gun, nice uh, nice revolver, no doubt about it. A good shooter, and uh, even with old hand loads, you know, from a halfway insane reloader myself. So I didn't have to resort to the hot stuff, and I'm kind of glad. It's a little cold and it hurts your hand more. Uh, this grip is not great for really hot loads. You need a rubber, bigger grip on it if you're going to shoot some barn burners, and you really do. But good feeling gun, and I'm glad I brought it out today. I'm glad you all came by. Appreciate your support. You, uh, you just don't know how much we appreciate you all, and uh, we don't uh, express that often enough, probably, because you enable us to, to do this, and uh, we're so uh, glad to be able to bring you a lot of different firearms and and give you some just honest looks at different firearms and uh, bring you to the range here, you know, with us, at least virtually, virtually. You know, we don't need four million of you kind of crowded around us right now. I probably wouldn't hit a thing. But virtually, it's uh, a pleasure having you with us. It really is. So glad you came out, virtual or not. Life is good. Just doing a little spring training as I do here on the compound often. Uh, since I've got you here, I want to remind you to check out our friends over at SDI and Talon Grips. SDI is a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can become certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. That's SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. Go to sdi.edu for more information. Talon Grips is a company that makes grips. <laughs> Big surprise there, right? Uh, you can check them out at talongungrips.com. They make various types of grips for uh, various types of firearms that go over your existing grips. You go to the website, talongungrips.com, and, uh, and see what all they have over there. We appreciate them and their support, and uh, we hope that you support the companies that, that support us. Also, while you are on the internet, which I assume you are at this time, uh, go to hickok45.com and check out everything we have over there. We have links to all of our social media, our merchandise, which you can find also at BunkerBranding.com. We have t-shirts and hats and mugs and 
and drink koozies and, and different things like that. On social media, there is Hickok V Real Hickok 45 on Instagram, Hickok 45 on Twitter, Hickok 45 on Facebook. Uh, there's also a page I have called John underscore Hickok 45 on Instagram and John Hickok on Facebook. So please check all that stuff out when you get a chance. Uh, but, you know, watch some more videos. Have fun out there. Talk to you guys later.